Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. I do mobile home living in a trailer park in Tennessee and I'm on my way to make my mobile home a mobile mansion one room at a time. Today we're tackling the outside of the trailer. We're tackling our landscaping and getting it all nice and pretty out here. So we're about to go make this trailer look extra spiffy. Y'all saw us washing off the trailer with that green mold stuff. That stuff works like magic. The outside of my trailer has never looked so good in its lifetime, lifespan. We've got a lot to do outside though. We're going to do landscaping today. I'm not going to touch the porch right now because I've got a lot going on this week and I don't want to start a project and not be able to finish it. You guys know how I am. So today, our main goal is to outshine Phyllis. No, I'm just kidding. I love Phyllis and she can she can always take the win. But I at least got to give her a run for her money. I'm also wearing shorts today. I don't think that y'all can see my leg hair from where you guys will be at, so hopefully not. If my neighbors come say hi to me, they'll see my leg hair, but I'm just worried about y'all. They see my leg hair every day. Y'all, I try to keep y'all from that. I'm not always successful at it, though. <laughs> Let's do the daggone thing. We're starting off strong. Shane is playing a prank and drove off in the car when I asked him to move it. I can't take his shenanigans when it's 85 degrees out here. What are you doing? Time to make a getaway when we get started on this project. <laughs> don't want to wake up. I might be dreaming. Step one is to clear it out. There's so much going on over here, so much junk, so much stuff piled up right in this vicinity. We're gonna clear it out so we have a clean space to work with. Now we're taking up these stepping stones. We didn't put these down, but whoever did, it, they struggled. <laughs> they struggled a little bit. There was grass growing in between them and they weren't really level. So we had to take them up and try to get them as level as we possibly could. And in order to do that, we had to take them all up and then flatten and level the dirt underneath it. Excuse my powdered donut legs. They ain't seen the sunshine in three dang days. I could not refrain from busting out in that song.
Shane's going through with the shovel and just flattening out that area and getting it level as physically possible because we're going to put landscaping, what's it called? It looks like kind of like parchment paper. We're going to call it landscaping parchment paper. We're going to put that down underneath the mulched areas and these stones to keep the weeds from kind of popping through like they did for the other people. So we're taking up the old edger and then we're going to flatten out the area that was underneath the stones. If it isn't apparent already, <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We're just winging it. And if you're new here and that stretches you out, that's my life. I literally wing my life. I'll wing it. Every bit of it. The only part of me that isn't ever winging it is the part that's secured in Jesus. Everything else, I'm just winging it. the holes for my little plants i'm planting and i'm gonna do it on each side of the walkway i'm trying to remember what is this called a garden spoon i cannot remember a sto uh, not stove a garden what is it what is this thing what am i using it's a um not wheelbarrow it's used often with a wheelbarrow shovel that's what it is my gracious it's a shovel i'm using a shovel to dig tried to pick out easy to maintain plants because I do not have a green thumb on my body. I'm actually more like a, the Grim Reaper to these plants. They see me coming and they know that their time is at hand. <laughs> so I needed to find something that I could easily take care of and basically do the bare minimum because while I would love to be Laura Ingalls, I'm just not Laura Ingalls. Maybe in another lifetime, I will be Laura Ingalls. But as of right now, I'm as farthest from Laura Ingalls as you can probably get. I do still try to make nice with my plants though. And I will talk them to death. <laughs> Quite literally. Y'all always tell me that I can talk paint off a wall. But I can talk a plant to death. I'm telling you. Y'all gotta remember, I spent many years of my life straight up alone. I didn't have nobody to talk to most of the day. And so, the only person I did have to talk to was Jesus and he's sort of invisible so i just started talking to inanimate objects i talked to my stove I, I prayed for my stove i prayed for my fridge i talked to my fridge i laid hands on my fridge and prayed for it one time and it started working so i got in the habit of just praying for stuff and talking to stuff throughout the day is it healthy probably not was it a good coping mechanism i mean it, it did me good until i met you guys so yeah i mean i would get that experience a 10 out of 10 <laughs> <laughs> it was a 10 out of 10. This is the parchment paper, landscape parchment paper stuff that I was telling y'all about. It was supposed to be like big time grade A kind. And because the last time I used just the black kind that you get at like Walmart and it didn't do so hot. So I went with the high grade this time and hopefully it'll do a lot better and it'll stop a lot of the weeds from coming through.
duct tape to keep this together to try to prevent weeds from growing in, you know, because I figured they might pop up through the seams because we had to lay three different pieces down. So we put duct tape excess on them to kind of hold them together and hold them down and keep the weeds from popping up. I'm spraying down these stepping stones so I can roll some stain on them and change their color up a little bit. It's hard to believe in love, so never let your guard down. Cause I've come back swinging. You walk, you talk like you've been around, way down. Oh, I can feel it. You scream, you shout, you let it out. Make me a believer. How many lies do we have to hide? When two arms don't make it right. How many times can I say goodbye? Till I get through to you. When time is running out. And the dream is over. You need some time to figure out. That what comes around goes around. You say you always be around. Somehow, oh, I can see it. You scream, you shout, you let it out. You made me a believer. How many lies do we have to hide? When two arms don't. love the look of lighter cement like I'm painting on here and so I decided to go with it I didn't really know how to do it and I googled it a little bit and I was like you can stain concrete what so I found this at Lowe's and I just ran with it and I love it so much I got up from the table, adrenaline, started walking to you, if ever I would be able to feel your skin and be close to you, I could levitate, figure it, bring back the dead, but now I'm just in my head, I'll fight to get through, through to you. to crack as I'm coming up closer to you I can't find nothing but doubt there in my head but I'll talk to you mm. looking back on someday maybe I'll just laugh with you 
So I'll fight to get through, through to you And I think you would want me to I'll try to survive, just acting cool Make you swoon, yeah, break all the rules And I'll say goodbye to the inside I will stand up a warrior I packed in the grout with this. It's sort of like a mixture between asphalt and sand. I found it at Lowe's and I was gonna go ahead and just get the sand, but I got the asphalt kind of sand mixture and it worked It worked really well to fill in the grout. I'm using river rock to line the edges because we're gonna do black mulch on the inside. And I think you would want me to. I'll try to survive. Just acting cool. I scored two boxes of these at TJ Maxx for a super good price. Four comes in a pack, so I got eight of these and I lined my walkway with it and it looks so good. It's probably my favorite part. love how this ended up looking so much. The house before versus after is insane. The landscape of before and after is insane. I couldn't be happier with how the landscaping turned out though. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning or not, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'll see y'all later.